folks, welcome to this episode of the Hell Gigs Podcast. It's me, your old pal, Colin Chamberlain, host of the Hell Gigs Podcast here at Sesh Comedy and on the Helium Podcast Network. Uh, thank you for tuning in. If you haven't, please rate, review, subscribe to the YouTube channel, which is just my name, and review it on iTunes and Spotify and wherever you get it. Just be nice and leave a review. Um, don't forget to also check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash Colin Comedy. Lots of fun stuff on there. But you know what's more fun than that is my guest this week, Rachel Williams. Rachel Williams, host of the Dum Dum Podcast. Yes, sir. And producer of the Cold Cheese Show. Cold Cheese. Cold Cheese. Cold Cheese Comedy and Foul Mouth. Cold Cheese Comedy and Foul Mouth Comedy, two <laughs> of the, one of the, some of the best shows around. So you should check them out and check her out. And Rachel, you just got into comedy, right? A couple minutes ago. A couple minutes ago. Um, I actually decided today to start stand-up comedy. That's fantastic. Well, you've made the right choice. Um, do you have any tips? Yes. I would uh, do literally anything else. <laughs> that's, that's what I would. That would be my tip, is to get out of this business before it takes away everything. Mm-hmm. I am happy to have you, though. Um, I'm we, happy to be here. You know, you made a point. You said when I texted you about this, you said... Oh, I, I said something like, it'll be good to have you back on. It, you So you thought that I thought that I had you on before. Yeah. <clears throat> well, egg on my face, because you've never done the podcast. No. Did you think I've done it before? I don't know. I, I remember I was trying to get you on a while ago, but there was a booking problem with your your people. Booked and you know, busy. I couldn't, my secretary I, sucks. I couldn't get you on to save my life. But now you, you're free. Um, and I'm so happy that you're here, because I'm sure you've had your fair share of hell gigs. You know, I, <laughs> I don't know if Would I've you? had, I, I don't know if I've had many hell gigs, which. Well, that's this episode you know, of the how- podcast. Thanks for joining <laughs> us, folks. Check out True Class. Wait, I wrote down some things that came to mind. Okay. But is this, you just. Let me ask yeah. you this before we get into it. Hey, you, you started question. comedy in New York. Correct. In New York City. Yes. And you started what, four years ago, three years ago? Three years ago. Three years ago. See, I'm always fascinated by people that start comedy in New York City. That's fine. We'll edit that out. <laughs> I'm always fine with people that start comedy. In, I'm always fine. I'm always fascinated with people that start comedy in New York City because I feel like it's such a different beast here. You know, you, where, how do you even start in New York? Do you just go to an open mic to yep. someone? Yeah. Yeah. And I thought that was it. Like you I had thought, like an urge to do it or oh, my, for a while, for, for a, a very while. long time, but it was always like, I'll just do other things right. like improv or sketch. Oh, or you something. did improv? Shut up. Don't talk about it. Wait, you know, what's fun. Wait, I got a busy call. Wait, hello. <laughs> I, Hi. No, I gotta go. Okay. I remember, I only saw this because someone that like a mutual friend shared it. You were in a sketch with like the nuns, the yeah. dancing nuns. Yeah. You know who shared it? Yeah. This All was right. part of, uh, this was going to be a story. Like it looked like it was going to be a hell gig and then it definitely wasn't a hell gig. Yeah, no, that, I think we should definitely tell that story. But so you did some sketch and you did improv and you, what else did you do? Um, I did a little acting. Really? Yes, sir. Wow. Yeah. You ever have any bad acting gigs? <sighs> I mean like every acting gig before it's like a real profession is a hell gig. Really? Because it's just like a divorced dude that has like a video camera from the 1980s and is like, I, I always wanted to be a filmmaker. So you know Razor Wadney. Yes. Anyway. Hey, I, what a director um, that guy is. Uh, when you when you started, so you acted first or did you do improv and sketch first? Acted first. And what was your first acting gig? It was a short film. Oh my God. And it was called... I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. But it got into the Big Apple Film Festival. Oh, wow. And so I thought I made it. Like, I was like, oh, here we go. Like, Hollywood. Like, change my number. It's about to be blown up, you know? Right. Change everything. Um, And then I didn't get another gig for, you know, five years. Sure. Yeah. Sure, that happens. And then, you know, you, uh, then you're like, reroute. And so I tried improv and I I did like it a lot, but then I didn't like it anymore. Mm Mm-hmm. And I always talked about doing stand up. And then uh, my friend was like, stop being a little connectors. You can do whatever you want. Stop being a little bitch All right, and just do cut it. That. <laughs> can you mark that? Thank you. Hey, thanks. Can you give me a water? Thanks. There's two waters. Two waters. Ice. Both for me. Ice Liquid on the side. Liquid death. Brought to you by. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, so ghost is gone. Thank God. Um, but I was thinking about all like, you know, 
I majored in dance. Right. Okay. And um, one of I had a dance hell gig. Does that count? Yeah, of course. Okay. It's uh, any it's kind weird. of entertainment. Yeah. It's weird. Okay. Tell me. All about right. That. Um. So I was really short on cash. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Like, quite poor. Poor, poor, poor. Uh Um, Like, used up all my meal plan money on, like, drugs and alcohol. At school? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, my mom was like, here's a check for your meal plan. And I was like, you bet. And then I cashed it and bought drugs and alcohol. Of course. So I had no money money to eat food. And uh, so I went on Craigslist. Mm -hmm. And uh, I found uh, an ad for, um, uh, basically, via... uh, you know, a belly dancer slash, you know, provocative dancer for a um, 70th birthday. Um, oh, boy. So, oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, if anything, the Craigslist, Craigslist has taught us that it's always very reliable and safe um, um, place to find things. So, you know, never really did a provocative dance before. Sure. Um Definitely not on a guy that's on his way out of life. Right. You know? Right. Yeah. Like he was already pissed. It was his birthday. Did you have to send a tape or? No, I think I was the only one that answered the ad. You so, know? so, 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 so you Denise, get this ad. That was her name, Denise. You get this ad, you, you see it, ad. you apply for it. Yeah. And you get a call. Right from Denise. And she says. I'm so glad you, you know, replied. Um, Nobody's I replied. Saw, it's been I up saw, for three months. She didn't months. say that, but she The sounded, birthday party was yeah, a year yeah, ago. Yeah, we're redoing it, actually, just because we thought the ad went down, but then someone finally replied. Um, also, I think I paid like $50, you know. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, do you have an experience? And I was like, absolutely. All the experience in the, mo- in the world, you know. And so, you know, I went to this. It wasn't like a senior home. It was like the in-between, the home... Yeah. It's like a old folks, like, it's like a retirement. Assisted living. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yes. I'm familiar with those yes, places. Yes. Oh, do you live in a living? I have been to those places, mm, yeah. but yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to be there. Yeah. I feel like that's, I, if I could be there right now, I would. Wow. If Just I like, could, do you imagine being like, you want to go to the pool? Yeah. It has to be somewhere warm. Like, but those places are so expensive. All right. Well, when we're old, I don't, I'm racking in all the debt. Okay. I don't think, anyway, so the guy, so you get the call, yeah. they go, they say, be here at this time. Yeah. And you say, it was yes. daylight. Right. You bet. Yeah. Yeah. I tried to like, I, and you know, day of comes and you're like, I'm so sick. I'm sick. I can't right. go. I can't go. But then you need the money. So I went and, uh, it was very bright, you know, fluorescent lighting and it was in like a little rec room and you know, they put on their boom box mm-hmm. and, um, you know, I did some belly dancing slash provocative dancing for a 70 year old's birthday. Mm -hmm. Um, Were there a lot of people? I'd say like 20. 20 people in a rec room. Yeah. And it was mostly, you know, like the women there were like, who's this, you know, whore. Right. And all the guys were like, finally, I haven't had a boner in 10 years. Like, you know, so I'd say that was a hell gig. Um, Wait a second. Definitely, definitely ruined my self-worth. There's a little that I had. There's going to be a lot more interrogation about this. No, because, I need it. Cause I, you know, cause you just, you just sort of skipped over. I feel like a lot. So like you do, how long are you showed up performing? in my Honda civic? She asked for 30 minutes. I did 15. Um, just cause you know, you, did you have, you, did you bring you, like a boom box or no, they radio had one, or, you bet. and then they had the music or did you have to tell them? What I brought a CD. Was? So you picked the songs. Yep. What songs? TLC. Did um, the creep. So uh-huh. creep. Yeah. Right. And what an Aaliyah rock the boat. Wow. And so that's, so you have this on there. Yeah. Ready. And you, you put it in Yeah. and then you just start. There's no opener. There's no, oh, no. What? there's no announcement. They're to like, made. we have a special guest today. I mean, they already knew the special guest cause I stood out, you know, it was like right. a 19 year old with a bunch of 70 year olds. Wow. I was 19. Anyway. Um, this is this is incriminating. This is dark. This is dark. This is getting this is dark. Tough. So you so you you do the, the 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 performance. Did I have like a, a rock bottom? Is this my rock bottom of drugs and alcohol? If it is, then it's good to get it out of the way. I yeah, mean, talk about it. Is, is this good. it? I feel like nineteen this is good to it. have a rock bottom. Um, yeah, let's get it out there. So you do your time. Yeah. And they pay you. Yep, fifty dollars. And then you leave. Yep. 
And then they tried to make small talk. They asked me to stay for food. And I was like, oh, I got to go. Did they clap? Do they like applaud? Uh, the like, guy, the guys were like, woo. And the women were just like, ah. And oh like, my God. It was just, I mean, the, actually the birthday guy, I think was the most uncomfortable. Yeah. Cause he was like, what? I didn't ask for this. I never wanted this. Right. And it was like the ringleader who wasn't even his like wife. I thought it was Denise. like, yeah, Denise. I thought Denise was like the wife, but she was just like the party planning committee, you know, yeah, like yeah. it was just, wow. I there's, you know, I'm kind of nauseous talking about yeah, this. Yeah. Like no, this podcast does that to people. They, they, I like they real forgot thing. Yeah. how terrible this was people think they've moved on from things and then they it comes out on this show and then they disassociation is a beautiful thing so you get in your honda how civic you? and you have to what go back to campus or? oh yeah no well at that point i was living off campus so you go back home, to my apartment your yeah. apartment and smoked my gravity bong to me i feel for me there's like anytime after a bad show the drive is very long yes and it's uncomfortable of so like did you do, you do you tell anybody about this do you god tell your no friends? i don't know if i've ever told I like was writing down my, cause I was like panicking. I was like, I haven't had many like good comedy hell gigs. Uh -huh. And then that came up and I was like, that is a, that's, that's bad. That's bad. That's pretty bad. That's real bad. Did you have to bring I don't like, think I've uh, told like, like, did you just, so you just walk in and what I assume is like an Adidas track suit <laughs> and like, or like breakaway yeah, no, pants. Like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was like a, cause I was a dance major. So I had these like gaucho pants, right? you know, like, and you just like, and then, so I just wore, I didn't like strip down my underwear. It sure, was like biker shorts. Because it's the middle of the day in yeah. a rec room also, at a senior not, center. Yeah. I'm not, an, you know, I'm right. not a stripper. You're, you're an artist. Oh, you're a, you're, you. a, you're yeah. a student for yes. dance. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so you're in there yeah. and then you get in your car, you go yeah. home and you just have never, you just Shame. bury it. You bury oh, it. Oh, forever and ever. That was one of those things where I was like, thank God. Like I could just. Ne I, I can never tell anyone this. Was there any point where and you were I'm like... now I'm telling everyone this. What am I doing? I mean, 50, maybe 60 people. Um, it's going to be on there, the intranet. Is there, was there ever a part of you where you were like, I, I need to get out of dance? <laughs> like, I've made the wrong decision? Like, if this is what it is, funny, I feel funny, like... Funny you ask. It wasn't that. That, uh, that it was more like I finally came to realize like the odds of me ever making enough money to even make ends meet and dance, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm out there 19, I'm in my prime and I'm mm -hmm. making $50. Mm -hmm. True Classic T-shirts. Do you like T-shirts? And do you like T-shirts that fit well? Go to trueclassict-shirts.com and get yourself some T-shirts. Actually, what you should do is you should click the link at the bottom of this video or podcast or wherever you're getting this information and use that link because that link is affiliated with me and I would really appreciate it. I have some true classic t-shirts and let me tell you as somebody who has worn them, they're fantastic. You look great. They take five pounds right off the top. Um, I've never felt better about myself when I wear the true classic t-shirts. So go to trueclassictshirt.com and get yourself some t-shirts. So you said, just to get this right, pivot. you said, <laughs> I don't know if there's enough money to be made in dance and the stability of the career yeah. is, is not what I'm looking for. I go think to I'm going to pivot into stand up comedy, which is by far, it's like in New York city foundation. Let right. me tell you how right. secure I feel in this business yeah. every day. You should feel secure. Yeah. Um, you know, you have, it's all about good vibes. You get, a lot of times you get paid in good vibes at uh, comedy shows. Yeah. Uh, but well, that's good. So then yeah. you get into comedy and you, I'm wildly embarrassed about that, about getting what I just comedy? talked about. No, Oh. I should probably, maybe in like 10 years, I I'll would be, be more embarrassed about the, the getting comedy. into comedy yeah, right, than, yeah. that you thought comedy than was going to be a giving a belly more dance stable. slash exotic dance. I straddled him. I feel like that was sort of implied one of those things where it's like it doesn't need to be said he smelled then, like old person well i didn't i mean he is an old person he was, he's probably dead he probably is i Whoa. mean yeah do you ever think about that that some no. of the people are probably not on this earth anymore wow yeah you think they're rolling around in the grave right now i don't think so oh okay no they're they're probably dead dead dead, dead. yeah you don't believe in it like spirits I, don't, I believe in spirits but i don't think their bodies are rolling around that's like a term yeah, I mean, they might be rolling. Uh, that guy's wife's probably rolling in his grave. Like, <laughs> Denise might be rolling in her Denise, grave. Denise wasn't the wife. Right, but she she should be ashamed of yourself. Denise is absolutely still alive. Yeah, 
Absolutely. She'll live forever. Denise was the original, uh, what's that woman that worked with that guy and pimped all those girls out? Who um, just got put in prison. Oh, just Lane Maxwell. Yeah, she was the original. Oh, Denise was your just Lane Maxwell. And, and the guy maybe was Epstein. Yeah. And you But he were... was, Epstein seemed into it. This guy wasn't into it. Or maybe oh, that was okay. his whole trick. That was like right. him being like, I'm not into it. But then, really... you, then you work harder to make him. You're like, if I can't get this 70 year old into this show, who am I? Oh, it's brilliant. Wow. Brilliant. So you comedy know. is fun and I've enjoyed it. Um, do you enjoy doing the comedy? Um, do I enjoy Sometimes. doing comedy? Yeah, I'd say that. We have had the pleasure of of working together a handful of times. Collins brought me on the road to many great gigs. Yeah, which some I feel of them, very though, lucky for. Some of them, like the shows are never like bad, and we've actually some great shows. But like everything, I feel like I always had to uh, like, especially when I first had you come over for me. I like really had to like preempt you, <laughs> you know, really stress like how bad this could be. It's like, I don't know what your th thoughts about this are, but like, it's not at a club. Like the first show we did. I was like, we're we going did, to MSG. Yeah, like the, I was like, we're going to Madison right. Square Garden. The first show we did was in like Western Massachusetts at that bar, that back room of a bar. Which I was great. like, yeah, it was fun. The show was fun, but it was like, you know, we had to drive three and a half hours to get there. Got lost in that back we, road we area. In like, yeah, some backwoods country on some state road. You know, then it's like, you're there. You have to find a place to eat. You know, you're trying to eat, you know, like we go I to need some, some veggies. Yeah. Well, that's, that's the, that's really the toughest thing about working with you is that like, you know, if I brought like a friend who obviously you're a friend, I'm not saying that you're not a friend. <laughs> I came out wrong. If I brought a, like a guy saying? friend, like I was like, most oh, we'll, we'll split a, we'll split a, a room, you know, oh, or it's like, you know, like we'll share a room and like, yep. we'll just go get, yeah, we'll go get to a bar. Yep. We'll get like some wings or yep. a beer. I'll buy a beer, yep. that kind of thing. It's tough with you because, you know, you're a woman, obviously. And you, not only that, but like, not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying like, I'm not going to, you know, if we have to get a room, we now have to, it's two rooms. Right. And then it's the thing of like, you're vegetarian. Yep. You don't drink. Yep. Which these are all things that are good for you. I'm not knocking any of this. But what they're not ideal for is a, is a career in comedy. Yeah. When you're like. Because you have nothing when, to do before the show. When you're in the middle of Western Massachusetts, you're like, hey, the only thing, I, I can't eat anything with like a ton of carbs yeah. or meat. No, and it's just like, me. Okay. You're like, well, let me pull up Yelp <laughs> and see what's around here. It's a Papa John's. How good was that smoothie? No, what's, oh my God. Yeah, we'll get to that. We'll get to that trip. But uh, the first time we did that show in Western Mass was fun. And wait, can I interrupt you? Yeah. Okay. Sean, I watched Sean Murphy's clip on your your Instagram, and yeah. it was about like how he thought, like she was like, I have fifteen minutes, and so he was like about to go to the bathroom, <laughs> oh, yes. and then and then she's like, Okay, let's get the show started. And he's like, What? Right. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. So so that show, that's a great point. So like the show was fun, but there were a lot of things that were happening. That, in that happened show. to me at that show. Yeah. So she was like, I don't even think she said my name. No. She was like, and it came out of nowhere. It was like I was like, Thank God I peeked in. Yeah. So you know, there's like a host and then you and then there's me and like the host is supposed to like do 10 to 15 minutes probably yeah. then introduce you and then you then and she seemed me. professional she's she like i've been doing this for eight years like right. oh yeah she's, i love she the was city. like a little like quirky uh, yeah a little quirky you know and so like yeah we're sitting in the back or you were out in the we were out in that like lobby area <laughs> and i know where she's just like okay that's it for me and we're like yeah. what and you're like we're gonna bring up your next comic give like, a round of applause right. and then it was that was it and i was like oh not even my name okay uh yeah, uh, yeah. like you know it's like i didn't even know i was going up so i had to like walk through the people you right. know and stuff yeah, like yeah, going yeah. around <sighs> that you was remember there was a lady knitting at that show yes and then someone did heckle me but oh it was the guy in the back doing the lighting yeah i was like why are you talking yeah you're like, the, you're supposed to be on my side. Right. It ended up being funny because it was like, I was able to make just fun of myself, I think in the end. But um, that was, that seemed like it was going to be terrible. It seemed like it was going to be two people. And then it was what, like 20? Which yeah, was yeah, it was, it was great. Good. It was I like mean, a small room, was, so it felt packed out. It was packed really out. fun. Yeah. But uh, then we had to drive all the way back to New York, like we always do. I think the one that like, I, I, I sort of was going through and thinking like of the, the trips we've taken, like that wasn't too bad. No. And then 
um, we did that show in Lancaster at that, um, like that, like it was a real high stage and there was like an upper deck that we oh, sat in. Oh, I liked in. that one. That was, that was all right. That Phantom Tower. Phantom t- Power. That was yeah. fun. Power. That was fun. Phantom yeah. Tower. The ta- Towers the, of Phantoms. Phantom's Revenge. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, but again, it's like, I always felt like, Hey, it's a long drive. And We're I'm not getting pumped. back to like 1am. <laughs> Yeah. I have to wake up for brunch the next yeah. day. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Liquid Death. Do you like water? Yeah, I bet you do. Do you like water that murders your thirst? Quite literally, it'll take your thirst and kill it. That's what you want. You want water that's sustainable. It comes in an aluminum can. They have it in sparkling. They have it in still. They have it in flavors now. It's really great. It's a great brand. Try out Liquid Death water. Shout out to Liquid Death. Thanks for all of the stuff that you send over. The trip that really was like, I feel like you got to start to see some of the like cracks in my shell was when we went and did like Rochester. We left from New York. Oh, no, no. I met you in Rochester. Well, you also weren't in a very good headspace, but that was, that that was when. (laughs) Right. We went to this awesome, this, we had this gig where it was like a private gig. This guy is obsessed with Colin and his friend Ray. He yeah. like, he's like, treats them like, it's like, oh, you were Mr. Chappelle, please come right in. And he like, uh, rented out this like really nice bed and breakfast for us. Like I got a room, he got like a sweet room and we're like checking it out. And then we walk into Colin's suite and I'm like, wow, afraid to stove. And he's like, this is awesome. Like, this is so great. I could have a girl here right now, but instead I'm here with you. And I was like, okay, so I'm going to go take a nap before the show tonight. Mm -hmm. I'll leave you in here. And it was just like, click. But that was a very long trip. It was a long trip. And you know what it was? You you know, that's the end of, that's towards the end of the story, Rachel. Oh. The beginning was, is that, you know, we, you took a train to Rochester yeah. and I picked you up in Rochester. Fun. And then we went to some dump hotel, you know. Oh yeah. Yeah. We went, we went to the hotel in Rochester because we had a gig in Rochester the night before. Oh yeah. And Which was, yeah. That I won't mention. Yeah, we won't. They but were. But there's, if you Google. You'll find out. Not, it's fine. You're not alone. But yeah. no, I know. But like we do this gig in Rochester. It's like, oh, first God. of all, oh, we God. have all that time. So it's like we went to like a Whole Foods to eat lunch. And didn't we? No, we went to like a shop, right? But Wegmans. Yeah. Wegmans is where we went to eat lunch. I got we sushi. Wegmans. Yeah. Wegmans. We ate lunch. Then it's like go back to the room, get ready. Then we went to the gig. The gig was all right. It yeah. was just like there were there were some things that happened, mm-hmm. like charging me eighteen dollars for a hummus and a diet right. coke, like chasing you, know? you down as he's like giving out merch. Like people want to talk to him after the show, and they're like, "Wait, pay your bill." Yeah. Oh, do you remember? <laughs> not only we, where did we go before the show? We went to like that mall, oh that God. like weird mall, deserted mall. Yeah. That go, that's not even real, by the way. Like it was I'm like pretty in sure a we school. that was a hallucination. And we went to for like us. a witch store. Remember? Omen. Wow. Omen. And then we went to, we walked around. Most of the stores were closed. What was the store? What was, was, no, that was Phantom Tower was the one where we ate. And I was like, look at that baked potato. Oh my God. Yes. Wow. This is all coming back to me too. We did that gig in Lancaster. We went to, uh, it was like, like JB's or like Jack's or something. Big family restaurant. Yeah. Family restaurant. And like you go in and just like everyone's eating. The menus are like. Yeah, right. And you, you know, ordered a side salad yeah. and the vegetable of the day. And they're like, sorry, what? And they were like, I, you were like, what's your vegetable? And they're like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You're like, whatever it is, I'll take it. So you had a side like salad. Praying it's and not vegetable. doused in cheese. Yeah. Yeah. And then we did that <laughs> show. But so true. Hey, do you want to see the best comedy show you've ever seen in your entire life? Come to Sesh Comedy this weekend. Literally, no other weekend can you see a comedy (laughs) show as good as this one. Sesh Comedy in the Lower East Side. They have shows Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Follow them on Instagram and TikTok as well for some of the best content you can get for free. The tickets aren't free, but the content is, and you'll see the content. You go, I must see this. What are they charging for tickets? 30, 50, 40, 60 dollars? What is $110? What are they charging, Dave? $10 a ticket? No, it's actually $20. It's 20, but early bird is 10. So get the early bird for 10, and if you miss that because you're lazy, then pay the $20, and it'll still be worth it because the shows are so good here at Sesh Comedy. That Rochester to... 
Pennsylvania trip, wherever we were in Pennsylvania, that was just tough because it was it was so much driving. Yeah. Like, you know, like you, I drove to Pittsburgh the day before I had a gig there. I drove from Pittsburgh to Rochester to meet you. You took a train from New York to Rochester, which is like seven hours. Yeah, that Get was Get off long. the train. And then we have a show that night. Yeah. So we go eat. Go get ready. Go do the show. You're yeah. trying to like kill time. Yeah. We went out for, for like, I was, I was at miserable after that show, which you know why. Yeah. But I, I, uh, soldiered on, soldiered on and was just, we had an all right time. And then you have to get up. We, did we go? Oh, the smoothie thing. Tell the smoothie story. Well, yeah. uh, well, cause Colin was like, let's go to a Denny's. And I was like, why are we going to a Denny's? Like, you're going to feel like shit. I'm going to feel like I'm not, I'm not going to eat. Um, mm. And he's like, well, what do you want, Rachel? Like, what do you want? What edge. does your heart desire? I was on edge a little yeah, bit. Yeah, a little bit. And I was like, I want a smoothie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he was like, fine, look it up. And we went to this place and it was the, like the best, oh my God, the best smoothie ever. They had no idea how to make you just a coffee though. Right. We went in and you even called and asked, I think you were like, do you have, do you have coffee? And they're like, yeah. <laughs> and so like we went in and, uh, they we ordered these smoothies and then you're like can we also get two iced coffees and they're like like and coffee like, shake and i was like no just iced coffee and they were like like to go and we we're like what well, because they don't typically serve coffee i, I guess not but yeah. it's like they had it right they just couldn't she remember she had to go in the back and be like do we need coffee i know here? she asked yeah and they did like ring us up for like something different yeah, yeah it was tough and then we drove like five hours to pennsylvania and oh, remember we stopped at that antique store? Yes. Yeah. And they had that awesome Gucci bag, which I was like, what the hell is this doing here? Yeah. And we, we stopped at a thrift store. Yep. And then and then we did this gig in Glen Rock. In was New it York. Glen Rock? Glen Rock. Glen, was it Glen Rock? Glen Rock, because he goes, I go, you have five guns? And he's like, yeah, I got five guns. And I was like, why would you have five guns? He's like, you're in Glen Rock. And I was like, R- okay. All right. So we're in, so we, so we check in to the, yeah. Okay. Now it's coming back to me. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we, we drive like 150 hours. It feels like mm-hmm. it's raining. Oh, yes. And like we get to the thing, we check in. Applebee's. Remember? We go to Applebee's. We, oh, we went to an Applebee's. Oh, my God. Yeah. I, and was we that got the, the first time you went to an Applebee's? No, I used to go to Applebee's all the time. And we got the Thai crunch. No, that's not what it's called. Oriental sesame chicken salad. Just Oriental. Oriental. It's which, the only, by the way, wow. Like, can't believe they're still getting away with that. Applebee's and, is the only restaurant that you could still order something with the word Oriental in it. And they I was just, haven't I, I it haven't been, years. it's just, it's amazing to me how they have the same layout wherever you go, which is very comforting. I get why people go. Mm-hmm. But so I was like, I don't want chicken on mine. And they were like, what? And I was like, no chicken. And they're like, what? They and like so, didn't know what they were going to do with it. And then Colin was like, put the chicken on my salad. She was like, oh, I don't know if the chef can handle that. And so they brought it out. Well, P.S., the Oriental chicken salad is just coleslaw, in <laughs> case anyone's wondering. It's coleslaw. And it's got little crunchies on it. And then like I'm like pretty much 75% done with it. And she's like, did you not want chicken because you don't eat animal product? I was like, not usually. And she's like, well, that is... Uh, milk-based dressing. And I was like, I don't care. I just don't want to have diarrhea during the show. Right. Um, and then we, I forgot about the Applebee's, went to Applebee's, went to the thing, we get to the gig, we check in, I was depressed and miserable. And I Very. was like, I can't, you know, I can't believe I'm not here. I'm here with you and not yeah. a companion. Girl. <laughs> and, and so we, but then we went to the gig and we were worried cause the gig was outside. So like oh, yeah. to preface this was a, a really like, and he's going to like, I know he's going to listen to this up to this point and go, are they going to mention this? And I want to tell you right now, unclench it's, we're not going to say anything bad because it was so good. We were nervous yeah. because of how, how many things could have went wrong and they didn't. The show is, it's a private show basically for this, these people there, it's an anniversary and they're going away. They're, they're moving. It's a private show in a backyard. It's outdoors. You know, it's, they had, it was supposed to rain in the daylight, in the daylight. It did rain. Um, you know, it's a cookout. So you never know like what's going to happen. There'll be kids there. They're not going to be kids there. People will be running around people are going to be drunk. Right. Um, what's the sound equipment? What's the sound equipment like? Right. So they, they delay the show because as we're getting into wherever we were, it's raining. Right. And we're like, oh my God, is the show going to get canceled? That's going to be horrible. We drove all this way. So then 
we get there we're like hanging out we're in the the band started late they had like the stage area we were literally on someone's like back patio yeah back patio but like as you're seeing the setup you're like why is the stage just in the left corner like why is it Mm -hmm. all the way left like so i thought that was going to be an issue Mm -hmm. and then kids are running around and the and the guy that's like in charge of like who hired us is like all right t minus like 10 minutes and colin's like looking outside and he just goes you might want to lean clean today and i was like i don't have clean i have two minutes of clean material like mm-hmm. what am i gonna do that was terrifying mm-hmm. and then i just asked the the guy who ran i was like can i be and he was like oh the better like everyone knows what's happening here so that ended up being great it, it was, was good. Yeah, it was great. It was I mean, a great the thing, they the, were laughing a lot. The thing was that like it, of all of the things you shouldn't do for comedy during the day, too well lit, outside, in the elements. Not a know, comedy club. Not like a just club, like yeah. Like no walls to contain. Right. So many things could have and you're you know, there there's a there's a literal there's a, a pig on a on a oh. smoker that's just sitting there. Yep. Just a giant right. pig. And right. you don't eat meat. So it was, it was like the size of your dog. Yep. Like I, I could have pictured Sal okay. on that. Like imagine Sal, no. if he had been killed no and thanks. skinned and smoked. Yep. It would look like this. Okay. Your pig dog. <laughs> <laughs> so if your pig dog was there, but, but it was, yeah. And then like, but it ends up being wonderful. The show's great. And it was so fun was like the guy that booked us, like walked around and like told everybody to be quiet. Yeah. Told everybody, he was like, like, he was like policing the room. Like yeah. as soon as somebody would say something, like he would like run over there. Yeah. It was yeah. Great. And then not only that, like to, to go. So it goes from one end of the spectrum to the complete opposite. And where you're like, this is going to be tough. This would be really hard. I don't know how we're going to do this yeah. to being like, this is so good. And then after we ended up being there until like, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, like midnight doing like, karaoke, doing karaoke. Billy Joel. Yeah. Billy Joel karaoke in the basement with like a college baseball team. Oh yeah. Do you remember that? Yes. And like Who owned guns. Yeah. Yeah. They all had, they were all like, I don't know, 21, 22, they all had like guns on their hips. Yeah. Yeah. They all played baseball. Yeah. And uh, it was like the highlight of everybody's yes, night. It was. Uh, it was a lot of fun. And then we had to get up. One the kid next thought day. he was going to marry me. Oh my God. You have to tell that story. <laughs> that story is so funny. I hope, listen, uh, you know who you are. And if you don't, somebody's listening to this that does know you and they're going to show you this clip because this is so funny. <laughs> So tell I that story. How it happened though. Well, okay, I kind of remember it. So he was upstairs with me. You all were downstairs for yeah, like forty-five but he minutes. He came late. Yes. To the show, and right. I don't think he knew. Yeah, he didn't know my stuff. Yeah, he, he didn't, didn't know I was married. He didn't know you were married. And, yeah. But he knew you were a comedian, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So he's talking to me, and we're like, and he's like nineteen, maybe twenty. No, I think younger. Maybe younger. Yeah. S- whatever. Yeah. Seventeen, young. eighteen. But like. Like ballsy being like, I work for a living and yeah, like, I he got was, guns you know, and right. shit. And you're like, oh, all right. And like just talking to me. And I think we were just like, I don't know. I just, we were having a lot of conversations. And then like, I don't know how it came up, but like someone was like, did your husband know you're here? And I was like, yeah, obviously. And like, he was like, like I saw like his whole demeanor Life changed. And he was like, you're married? And I was like, oh yeah. And he was like, oh and like kind of just like ghosted away to the back, like just left. Just like evaporated. A, yeah, just he evaporated. Like, he like vape clouded yeah, out of yeah. the room. And then went yeah. into the basement yeah. where he, Colin was. Yeah. And then Colin, what does he say to you? Well, he was like, I thought- I think he also found out my age too. He was like, ew, you're old. Like, remember that? No, that was he thing. never said ew, but I thought there was a point where he was like, he came up to me and was like, so I hear you're funny. Or something like oh, that, yeah. and like, and like, and that yes. was like his opening line. Yeah, and yeah, like yeah. He came down and he starts to tell his friends. He's like, and I don't think he knows that. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know if he was there for the show. Yeah, I feel like he wasn't because I don't think he knew that. Like, I was like with you in the sense yeah, yeah, like yeah. we were working together. So he comes down and he's like, she's married, like thirty two <laughs> and married. Like, what? Did he? And he's like, yeah. And I thought she was like, I was like, who are you talking about? He's like. Rachel, I was like, yeah, she's married. I was like, she's married to a doctor. He's like, Phew. I was like, how old did you think she was? He was like, I don't know, like nineteen. 
I was like, is, what? It's just like, <laughs> wait, come what? on. I was like, what did you say to her? He's like, I went up to her. I was like, so you think you're funny? And I like die laughing. I'm like, yo, she's a comic. Not only is she a comic, she's a comic who's married to a doctor and she lives in Brooklyn. I was like, what was your plan, <laughs> man? He was like, oh, I didn't know. My friend told me to say something. But this poor kid is oh, just getting roasted definitely alive. Definitely the youngest, yeah. Yeah, by all of these other baseball players and kids down there. Yep. It was uh, brutal for him. That yeah. might have been the worst night of his life. Yes, for sure. That was one of the best nights of my life. I think life. he was the only one not singing Billy Joel, Piano Man. He was man. not happy. Yeah. He was not happy to be to be in that moment. He was not about... I mean, like, just the look on his face when he came down. And, like, all of his friends knew that... They set him up. That's yeah, right. they set him up. They, it was what they did. They yeah. set him up. And then, you know, the that night ended and we had to drive back. And we drove back to the city and then it all ends. You know what I mean? Yeah. All of the fun. I think that was the last gig we did together. One on of the, the best road. paying gigs I went to too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We got, I remember, well, this is not, uh, we're talking about money, but it was one of those gigs where they come in and they just slap the money down on oh. the table and you're like, good Lord. Like, yeah. Like, and he was almost felt awkward about it. He was like, oh, this is for you. And like, like left. And I was like, that's so much. <laughs> yeah. He just like, like, like just when, cash. when, when cash hits a table and it makes like a noise, you're, yeah, like, you're like, Oh, this is, thank God. Yeah. You know, it's like yeah. a pack. I never seen a pack of cash. Before. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It was pretty cool. It was definitely like one of the more fun gigs that I've done in general, but like, as far as like set up, you, where you think it's going to go one way and it couldn't go any better. Yeah. You know, I mean, it was really good. You know, that guy wanted to <clears throat> come to New York and surprise you at Foulmouth. Like he, he never made it here, but he really wanted to come and, and uh, bring those kids to the, to a show at Foulmouth. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know like, that. He sent me a message. The, the guy that booked us. Yeah. 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 They were talking about the young no, kid. No, no. I was like, I mean, Jesus. he may come too, yeah. but, but the, the guy that booked us was like, I really want to come to a show when Rachel's running at Foulmouth. Like, oh, I want that would have been so much fun. Ball players down to New York. They've been in New York. They couldn't set it up, but uh, it would have been, a, it would have been oh, crazy. Damn. Yeah. But it was fun. You know, we had, but, but it's just like, there's nothing that just takes like, Nothing takes the wind out of yourselves more than having a great show and then getting in a car and having to haul back to New oh. York. And then you're like home and you're unpacking. And I mean, you're the like, only thing worse is when you bomb. But when it's good, it's sure. just like, it's very like surreal. You're like, oh, this is not, you like get like high mm -hmm. on it. You know, you're like high. You're like, oh my God. Like, blah, blah. And then you get in your car and you're like, oh God, that was just like a, a glimpse. Right. Right. Yeah. It's just, and it's over so quick. That's yeah. why people do this over and over again. Um, what, uh, I feel like you though, you're, I think you're like me in the sense that like, and like people that, you know, I'm friends with are like, you take, I feel like you take like bad shows and the, the business of comedy, like so you really internalize it. Yeah. Like you take it very personally. Very personally, which is something I'm working on. And like, like it affects you. Yeah. Cause I can't, I'm like, it's just not healthy. Like, right. like I can't do this. Like I'm this far, I'm only this far in and I'm already like being like, uh, like, right. like, it's just like, cause when I hear other people say how long they've been doing it as long and it's as long as me. And I'm like, ew, like that's so, you can't even talk, right. but it's like, you know, when you're up your own ass, you're like, it's different when it's me, you know, but yeah, it's not, yeah, no, it's yeah. not at all. And no. I just, I don't know. It's not that serious. That's why I want to just keep telling myself, but yeah, I do. I carry like a huge weight. Well, it's always funny when like, and you'll like send me a text and be like, can I ask you a question? I'm like, yeah. Be like, I don't know. I feel like I'm not whatever. I'm not doing this or that. I'm hosting too much, or too little uh -huh. or whatever it is. I'm like, hey, what's up? Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, I'm oh like, God, I've been doing this so 10 years yeah. and I'm still like, I'm like having the same, yeah. like, that's the thing. It's not even a thing of like, you're, you're out of line. It's just like, it just never ends. Right. Like, there will always be like, you'll get something and then you go, oh, I wish I had this uh -huh. instead. Like yeah. there is like, you get like one day to like be happy. Yes. And then like immediately you look for the next thing and then you're like on to the next thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, My friend just got passed at a club and I was like very envious of it. And then she was telling me like something like just being like, yeah, but I'm worried. Like they only gave me like one spot this week. And I'm like, it just never ends. Like that's what yeah, right. I was like, it just never stops. That's it. Never stops. What do you do to cope with that? Like, I feel like, like, what do you, what's your, what do you do? Like after a bad show or, a, you know, if well, you I think a actually, well, after a bad show is I do one thing, but I think for me, my like 
I have to do so much to be mentally well. It's mm-hmm. a long, it's insane. No, I to, it's insane to be sane. For I me. believe that. Um, but my morning routine, if I like, when I fall off of that, which I just restarted it today, it's like everything goes to shit. Like I cannot go on my phone for the first two hours of the day. I have to work out in the morning. Mm-hmm. I have to journal. I have to go outside. <sighs> um, and then after a bad show. Either hang out with other comics and talk to them out because they'll immediately make fun of me and then it makes it all go away because they're like, oh shit, you bomb bomb. You know, mm-hmm. like when I bombed that New York audition, it was like, it just, I remember one of my friends was just laughing in my face and I was like, this is perfect. Mm-hmm. This is exact, because it's funny. It mm-hmm. is. It's like, that's real. Like I went up there and just forgot how to be a human. Right. Like yeah. I went up on stage and said hi six times. Yeah. Yeah. You know? then, yeah it's a, just like a nerve. Yeah. Thing, you yeah. Know? Yeah. Um, but so that really helps. And then I think I listen to some um, motivational speeches. Do you really? Mm-hmm. You listen to motivational speeches? Mm-hmm. Like famous I love them. speeches? I don't, I, yeah. I think they're famous. They're on Spotify. It's oh, like. Oh, wow. A, yeah. A compilation. Is that how you say it? Compilation. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Hey, man. <laughs> um, of them. And so I've, there's like one I always l- listen to by this guy, Les Brown. I like him a lot. Les Brown. Yeah. Mm. And would you believe that I've never listened to a motivational speech in my life? Yeah, for okay. sure. I believe that. Thank you. Because um, I feel like you'd be like, you'd hear it and be like, why are they yelling? Yeah. You'd be like, well, this is a lot. I'd be like, that's a lot. Uh, yeah. Like, I should dial okay. back a little bit. You know, you said one of the funniest things to me, you, cause like, you know, it's one thing to like bump into people in the city and do a show with them, but like to be like in a car with somebody for like, you know, 15 hours, 16 hours max or even longer. Mm-hmm. And, you know, spend like two, three days together. Like you had one of the, how I talk to people or like how I like interact with people. Like I never you noticed say that. things under your breath. It's ridi- I don't know how no one's called you out. And I've been like, what'd you say, bro? Like it's, it's, it's like when you don't take, especially when you don't take someone seriously and they're like, and I did this and then you're like, Oh, no way. Oh, gee whiz. Oh, you're still talking. Uh, you know, like you just keep going. And I'm like, does no one hear this? Like, yeah, I don't know what's wrong gee whiz. That. Like you'll be like, gee whiz. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Golly. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I know. I, I, uh, I, I can't stand the, like the, some of the chit chat, some of these people put you through, you yeah. know, and I try hard to, to put up with it, but that, I get to a point where I'm just like, Oh yeah. Wow. That's great. Like how you just, yeah. you just on autopilot. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think I, it, one of your biggest pet peeves and it's one of mine. Um, it's like when you're going through something hard and someone immediately is like, I totally get it. This is what I'm going through. And you're like, oh, oh, I yeah. didn't ask for this. Like, this is not how it goes. You know, like, I don't want to, I'm already in a dark place. I can't, I'm already drowning. I can't save you. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm you're saying? You're going to have to save yourself. Right. Like, yeah, it's like, right. I'm drowning. I'm asking for help. And the person dives in with me. And it's like, I too can't swim. And you're yeah, like, right. what? Look at both of us. Yeah. <laughs> drowning. Not, not having a good day. Yeah. yeah <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. What would you say before we leave? is your most because you really like especially when you i was i'm i am impressed how how you like um keep yourself i don't know if sane is the right word but like you know you you bring the power bars and the rice cakes and everything what would you say uh, just a a real day of of debauchery you know like if you're gonna go off the rails and have something is it like two rice cakes what like <laughs> What would you say is like, cause I, I, I feel like I haven't, like, I, I haven't seen you eat, even eat like ice cream or like a slice of pizza. I feel like. Oh, that's my, I'm, I'm digging pizza lately. Oh, you're into pizza. Yeah. I'm loving right. pizza. I do vegan cheese. Sure. Cause I just like, at this point, I don't even think my body could take dairy cause I've been off the so dairy. So you don't eat any dairy? No. Oh wow. There's definitely dairy in the oriental chicken salad. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's mm. coleslaw. No, it's very yeah. good for you. And the breadsticks are phenomenal. Um, and what you do is and the fried you get chicken. what you do. This is what you do. You go to Applebee's, you get an oriental chicken salad, crispy chicken, breadstick on the side. It comes with it. Then you get yourself some, uh, they, they have like the appetizer trio or whatever. Yes. Don't do that because you're just wasting your money because you get yourself like some mozzarella sticks or some boneless wings and then it, you, but you don't say I want them first. You get them all to come out together 
you have a little taste of this, and then you come over here, a little taste of that, and then you, ooh, my salad, you know, and that is what you do. I used to do. really crush the nachos at Applebee's. You know, people make fun of like me sometimes, and I know other comics are like this when they're like, oh, like, I was just saying to somebody, it was like, um, they're like, oh, you're in, I, I think I was in West Virginia, they're like, are you doing anything fun? I was like, I went and whatever, walked around them, I was like, I went to a Panera, and they were like, oh, that's lame. I was like, Dude, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I'm not going to every greasy diner hole. You got to <laughs> have drives like, and t- yeah, I'm not Guy Fieri. <laughs> like yeah. when I'm on the road, I'm trying to like get something that I know is going to be half decent. Yeah. Not going to make me sick. Yeah. Like I'm not going to have to wait in line an hour. Like I'm not yeah. trying like, and when we were in Rochester, like the thing to eat there is a, called a garbage plate. And it's like a hot dog with like oh, yeah. hash browns and macaroni set and all this stuff. And you're like, dude, I got to work tonight. Yeah. Like I can't eat this. Yeah. Like I'll kill myself myself in this radisson for sure like, like I'll, <laughs> well you're already I'll on die. your way but yeah. right that would have just tipped it over that would have been the the, the straw yeah. that broke the camel's Absolutely. back so pizza you're into pizza pizza i love pizza and i love and i love vegan ice cream okay i can't talk to you anymore i um it's a little so, sugary so though pizza so I just make and with vegan cheese or vegan ice cream yeah all righty this has been a very fun episode. Rachel, you run the Foul Mouth Show and you yep. run the Cold Cheese Show and you yep. got the Dumb Dumb Podcast. Yep. Where do people find all this stuff and where do they find you? They can find me on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok at um, Rachel Williams. So it's just Rachel Williams and the R and the W switched because it seemed like a good idea. your I- name with an A. It seemed like a good idea at the time and now it just seems like I'm making fun of people. So... Yeah, I noticed that you, you, R-A-C-H-E-L, the right way to spell it. Okay. All righty. Well, that's been this episode of the pod. Thanks. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in. And um, I don't know when this will come out. So wherever I'm at on the road, you just look it up and come and see me. And, uh, you know, the Instagram. Oh, my God. Instagram and everything. All right. That's it. We'll see you later. (laughs)